All right, guys. I uh, recently posted a poll over on my Twitter account. Um, basically, I'm going to document some of the changes I want to make to my room, um, collection-wise and like PC setup-wise. So we're going to go through some of that. Um, I'm going to go through the. This is kind of going to serve as two things, like a mental checklist for myself. I'm going to physically like write a list after I walk through all this. Um, and then uh, kind of go through and give you guys an update. So um, one thing, I'm going to talk about things that have changed since my last room tour, which is a long, long time ago. It's like a year ago now. Um, new chair, um, DX Racer. It's pretty nice. I'm not DX. AK Racing. Um, it's comfortable. It's good. It's a nice, breathable material. My old one was leather, so it kind of sucked in the summertime. Here's the problem. The problem is... Like, if you look behind all these rows of figures, it's, like, not just, like, a row of figures. It's the entire set double stacked behind them. So, like, I literally can, like, not fit any more figures on any of these bookcases. I guess maybe I technically could fit, like, nothing significant, but a couple down here. But whatever. Um, but as you can kind of see, I'm out of room. Like, I got the uh, the Hasbro... Leia, and I just had to literally just start dumping stuff on top of stuff. It's getting bad. Um, I, I personally, my one of my big things of a collection is if you can't look at it and enjoy it or use it, then it kind of serves less purpose. So I want to try to do some major innovations. Like look, look at my Rebels New Black Series. They're just chilling on shelf. The holiday like stuff is just just shoved in because I'm not usually this shelf was like my landing zone for new stuff before I sorted it out and shot videos or whatever um, but the black series like these are 1 through 15 but behind that is 16 through 30 and then 31 through 45 and so on and so forth so I'm just out of room PC setup takes up basically this whole wall three quarters of it probably so what my ultimate plan is is to build a desk so desk here Monitors on a triple monitor, um, desk stand configuration above it. That's what I have to do there. I could just put my stand, my, my monitors on their stands and put them on their desk space, but then I'll literally like lose all of my desk space. Um, another reason I want to build a desk is I'm tall. Like my knees like hit underneath the desk. And then I was going to put my AV rack um, and PC case next to it. My main PC. Custom water cooled. If you guys are more interested in this, let me know. I'll do a whole video on it. But really quickly, it's just a Asus 270, a GTX 1070, i7, 9700. Um, M2, 32 gigs of RAM, custom water cooled loop. Down in the basement, there is three or four hard drives, power supply, obviously. Um, I do have custom lighting in the case, so do need to clean out. But like, you can see dust. It, I, I probably it's about every January I take it uh, out to the garage with my air compressor and just like blow everything out. I'll uh, change the liquid in the. Uh, um, what I would like to do though, since I built this PC, I now have a Synology, um, which is basically a network attached storage device. PC. Long story short, it's gonna stay. It's gonna block my Rise of Skywalker poster, but. Whatever, I can definitely live with that until a year or two, three years down the line when I decide to build a new PC. I have learned a lot since I put this thing together and makeshifted it. Um, you can see uh, my wire maintenance is driving me crazy, um, as it should you. By the way, I didn't clean or change anything for this video. I just wanted to shoot it as is. So I didn't know what Keystone patch cable system was. So that's why all my cables are just kind of pulled through and look all ugly. Um, so I'm going to buy one of those, put that in there. Um... One of the things on my wish list is a 3D printer. Um, so I can print off a 1U um, rack mount for this style modem. So I just like chill right in the middle here. So that's another thing I want to do, but obviously I have to get a 3D printer to do that. Um, I want to add a patch cable. Patch cable will have RS-232, or, or RS-232, um, RJ45 Ethernet cables. So I'll just have little jumper cables going from there to there so you don't see all this awfulness. You can also get USB headers on it. So basically I can have USB, I'm going to get a, a newer, this is only a 2.0, I think, um, USB hub, get that in there. But then I can actually 
plug USB physically into something in the front of here, it'll look a lot nicer. Um, the things that I would normally do that with are like um, this cable <laughs> goes to my Xbox controller. I just like to use it wired, but I switch between my PC and my um, Xbox One a lot. So, for example, I would just plug it in from like like an input to an input, and then we have two external hard drives hooked up here. Um, um, a rack mount drawer. Now, when I build my new desk, um, I'm planning on doing no drawers on it. Um, a, so I can keep like my, my legs can go under no problem, like I was talking about earlier. Um, but also, I can just migrate a lot of the stuff over to like to this drawer, and I can get a second drawer. 1080p monitors on the outside, 4K in the middle. Um, I'm pretty happy with my monitor setup right now, um, so I don't plan on changing anything. For audio, I use this little Sony soundbar. Oh, one thing I do have is a bunch of cables that look awful, and a laptop here, which that usually isn't in here, so whatever. But uh, Snowball mic, I want to get that on some sort of a boom. Um, for when I do like live streaming, I better not show too much football game because uh, the NFL will steal my video. Um, and then there's even more power down there. It looks awful. Um, actually, like from like where you can normally see, you can see a little bit, but it used to look better. Whatever. Um, so yeah, that would slide over to this wall. The the rack mount I plan on putting in the corner here. The width of the wall from wherever that spacing is going to start to the door, um, or not the door, but the uh, light switches is um, about 80 inches. Two Billy bookcases of like the big ones, and one small one, which as you can see would increase my storage by 50 percent to my two and a half so two things it'll get me two and a half of those over here the ceiling is pitched it's a vaulted ceiling um, up to there and that gives me like i don't know an atst of height we're over here it would be three atsts of height atsts are now the official height uh, measurement of my channel use the way up high space um to install more of these picture frame rails from Ikea. Um, up high, I don't know why I'm showing the wall, like it's cool, um, to to display my CGC figure variants and other CGC books that I'm getting into. I got crispy Stay Puff, regular Stay Puff. I really like them a lot. Um, another thing I thought about doing is putting BB-8, Porg, Wally, and I want to get Grogu and um, Dio and put them all on that shelf. I think that'd be kind of a funny... What's that? Uh, whatever a name for five people is. All right. Um, back to uh, all my vinyl vacations. I can condense them down to three shelves. Not crazy about them, but I invested a lot of time and money in them, so I'm just going to keep them there now. Um, so my vintage, loose, non-graded stuff. Um, the starts of my turtle shelf. Definitely want to get back into those someday. One of my favorite childhood ones. The... Uh, Ghostbusters retro set, some Jurassic Park, my Slave One, and my Celebration Holiday Fet lunchbox. Um, this is my this is my childhood um, Lego shelf. Those are three th things that survived from my childhood Lego. Actually, those are the only three that I had. Um, as you can tell, I only collected in 1999. Um, Credit Shuttle. Not crazy about it, but it's cool. Uh, UCS tie, pretty awesome. B-Wing, um, Jedi Starfighter. Not too crazy about those either. Whatever, they're here. Um, there's other stuff behind here. I think it's Ray's speeder. Oh, this is a dangerous way to do that. Um, now I have to look for my own personal curiosity. Nope, it's Luke's land speeder. I think Ray's speeder might be behind that too. <laughs> um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I talk about my spatial issues. Stuff like that. Um, complete. I'm going to back up for this shot because it's easy. Like, I don't know. The way that I laid this out, this makes, it makes sense to me. Uh, red card, green card, freeze frame, all complete, including Weequay. Um, Comtech chip, flashback photos are in there. Episode 1, Episode 2, um, remainders of the freeze frames episode three episodes one two are complete three i'm missing a f couple still so i fill those in um and the bottom there is stuff solo line last jedi line force awakens line and then 
There's a line in the closet, which I can't remember what it is now. Um, vintage collection. Those random board games. I might, if anybody is interested in buying just a board game so I can keep the figures out of them, uh, hit me up. And that, that's something that we could uh, maybe uh, make happen. Is my weekly script. He does have a crushed bubble, but I got him for an insane deal. So, and it's not, it's a, it's an American one. It's not uh, Canadian. Come on, focus camera. Um, continuing down, we kind of did that earlier in the video, so I'm going to spend a lot of time explaining what's there. Power of the Jedi, which is complete. And then my Black Series, which, oh, the way it kind of shut down is all the exclusives are up top. That's a two rows of exclusives and then the numbered ones. I'm complete up until like uh, 67, 68, something like that. And then I took a little bit of a break. So 70, 60s and 70s, I'm missing a lot. And then 90s, I got a few. And then after 98, I'm kind of dead in the water again. Down here, this is my uh, Star Wars um, figure collection that my JTC covers. And then this over here, this is um, a side project that I've been working on where I'm uh, sending books off to grading with CGC, um, you know, finding good deals in, on eBay or in shops. Or I have a buddy that oh, basically owns an LCS that I order through, um, which you can get stuff. I'm, I'm plugging empties in my friend, and he, it's the best, uh, the best deal around. So um, he ships. He has a website. I'll, I'll link it down below. But basically, um, I uh, have access, and so do you, everybody does, um, where you can pre-order um, any comic books um, that are coming out. And he sells them for under retail. Like, um, don't quote me on this, um, but I think like a Marvel book that's normally, um, I mean, it is all of Marvel, DC, Image, all that stuff. Uh, let's say it's books at books. Um, cover price, that's what I was looking for. Covers at like, I think they're $5, $4.99, $3.99 for Star Wars. Um, you can buy them on his website for two, $2.75, I want to say, something in that neighborhood. So um, I'll order a bunch like of books that you know, I think are going to be hot or whatever. Um, for example, uh, Last Ronin, um, I have, I bought 10 through him. Um, and those are like an eight or nine dollar book, uh, cover, cover price. Um, yeah, they were eight ninety nine, and those ones, obviously they blew up, um, because there was printing issues or whatever their story was. Um, I have four more here. <coughs> Excuse me, but I have five or seven, seven. I have seven at CGC right now getting graded. So hopefully I put turned a ten dollar book plus. Um, I think those are unique because those are technically magazines. That's why I stick up for there. Anyways, I, I'm trying to turn, you know, two, three, five, ten dollar books into 30, 40, 50 dollar books, um, plus cost of grading. So long story short, like here's some of the, here's the result. Like I do have some, uh, it actually is probably, I probably need to do some stuff on these, but like some of the nine sixes and nines that I have left over, but, um, <coughs> just recycling that money back into the hobby. So my goal is twofold. Uh, do everything that we talked about in the room today, which is extensive. Um, sorry for anybody who sat this far, but I'm going to try to use this to fund all my room improvements and collection expenditures um, this year. So I'm going to now like I don't, talked in front of a mic for forever or behind it i guess but now i'm kind of rejuvenated i want to do some new videos and talk about some things and uh yeah if you haven't already followed me on twitter that's where i'm most active but uh i'm gonna get to editing these videos and see what we can do